You might not believe it, but it's absolutely real. The upscaling you are seeing here is from a photo that barely has any pixels. And the upscaling is so clean and precise even with such a low quality image. In this video, I am going to teach you how to install and use a very powerful AI based on a stable diffusion called Super Supixel AI. It's incredibly powerful and I want to explain it in a way that makes you completely forget about the upscales we've done with Flux. I had mentioned in a previous video how you could upscale with Flux in just one step, but I can say with 100% certainty that the AI I'm introducing to you in this video is the most powerful AI for upscaling photos, and it gives amazing results. And I have to say, without making any changes to the original photo, it's unbelievable. It can create such details and beautiful textures, even those that didn't exist in the original image, with ease. These textures can be generated effortlessly with this AI. This AI belongs to a site that I link in the description, superior.pixel.ai, where you can also see some examples on their site that show how well it can add details to photos. It's truly amazing. Its precision in creating details and removing noise and artifacts in the image is exceptional. It can even create textures. And here we have a photo full of text details. And again, you can see how well it prefers those details and upscale the image. There are many other AIs for upscaling photos like Magnific AI, which is a good AI, but if you pay close attention, while it gives good results, we lose the original image, and that means losing the authenticity, which is a downwise and might be a reason we don't choose this AI. While quality is very important, often we want to preserve authenticity of our photo. Another AI is Topaz Gigapixel, which isn't bad but doesn't give extraordinary quality. It can provide details as naturally as we get with Superpixel AI. I won't talk too much more, let's get straight into it. You have two ways to run this AI. One way is to register with online sites that support this kind of AI, including Superior Pixel AI, and use it there. But it's relatively expensive. You will need to pay about $5 per month for just 10 images to upscale. And I don't think it's worth it. It's quite pricey. A better alternative is to install it on your own system and use this amazing AI without limits and completely for free. The only downwise is that it requires a relatively decent system, but you can still run it on medium to lower end systems with good results. In this video, I won't be covering online sites that offer super pixel AI, but instead I'll be teaching you how to install it on your personal computer to use it for free and without limits and enjoy its full potential. The first thing you need to do is download the superior models. These are the models that you'll find through a link I'll share in the description. There are two models of superior, model 0F and model 0Q. What is the difference between them? Their sizes are the same, but model 0F is designed for images with poor lightning, while 0Q is more general and covers most images. So I recommend downloading that one. You can also download both and test which one works better for you. I've downloaded the 0Q model and it's very easy. Just click this button to download. Once it's downloaded, go to your Comfy UI folder. If you made it this far, be sure to like the video and subscribe. You can't imagine what I prepared for you. Open the models folder, then checkpoints folder and place the file there to use it later. That's the first step. The next step is to download a Stable Diffusion XL model, as Superior AI is based on a Stable Diffusion, and we need an XL model to use it in Comfy UI. The model I'll be using in this video is called Forio, which is about 13 GB. You can download the latest version, or if your system is weaker, you can download the Juggernaut XL model, which is a smaller around 6 GB. If your system is very weak, you can use Juggernaut XL Lightning version, which uses fewer steps. Just make sure to read the details of any model you download to know how many steps work best for it. I've downloaded Forio version 3, 
It requires a VAE. Make sure to download that too. If you're using Juggernaut, you won't need a VAE. After you've downloaded the model, put it in the folder labeled VAE and you're good to go. Next, you will need Super Workflow to load in Comfy UI. I've prepared two workflows for you, one for models that use VAE and one for those that don't. After downloading everything and setting it up, you just need to load your workflow in Comfy UI. If you don't know how to install Comfy UI, I've made a full tutorial video linked above that explains how to install it from scratch on your system. Watch the video first if you haven't installed Comfy UI. Once everything is installed, just drag and drop your workflow into Comfy UI. It's very easy to use. Simply upload your image. I'm using a very low quality image of a car for this demonstration. And you can see that this photo barely has any details. I've uploaded it to show you how powerful the superior upscaler is. From here, you can choose the scale factor. I recommend starting by doubling the size especially if your system is weak. If you want to upscale it four times, first double it, save the result, then double it again. This reduces the strain on your system and speeds up the process. You need to select the checkpoint model you downloaded. I'm using Fourier XL here. If you download a juggernaut, you can skip the VAE step as it's not needed for that. But here, because I'm using the Fourier XL version 0.3, I need to load the VAE as well, like this. In this node, select the superior model you downloaded. If you have less than 12 GB of VRAM, make sure to disable high VRAM optimization. For systems with 12 GB or more, you can enable it for better results. There is an option called Superior Control Scale. The higher this number, the closer the final image will be to your original, and vice versa. I recommend starting with a value of 0.85 to see the results. At this point, you can also add a prompt for the AI to better understand the image, like sport photo of a blue car. Afterward, set the number of steps. Juggernaut Lightning models work well with around 7 or 8 steps, while Fourier models need about 15 to 20 steps. I'm using 70 steps here. Once everything is set, hit the Q prompt button and let the magic happen. It might take some time to load the checkpoint and the superior model, but once it's done, you will see how we've tuned that low quality image into a high quality one. Now here you see the result. If you write a stronger prompt, you can even ask ChatGPT for help, you'll get even better results. In this example, I've used a very simple prompt, but by improving the prompt, you can even achieve more stunning results. However, this result is amazing too. In all these images, you can see how well the details have been added without making any changes to the original photo. Look at the details in the hair, eyebrows, and eyes. They are incredible. And that's the power of this AI, which I believe is currently the most powerful AI for upscaling photos. And the best part, you can use it for free and without limitations. Thanks for watching.